What did you learn from today, Jeffa? Um, just speaking to the players there, I just felt even the, the opening 15 minutes of the game, it just didn't feel right. Um, maybe we've made a mistake playing them two games so quickly together. They look knackered, the lads, and I have to look at that and maybe say that they just didn't feel right. It's not making excuses, they just physically weren't there today. And Jack Taylor's come off, he's felt his hamstring, we have to look at that, that's a blow. Um, hopefully it's nothing. Um, but yeah, from the off, we changed formation, tried to get them going, but it was too slow, too ponderous. And I just feel that changing the game from Oxford, which we had to from the Tuesday to Wednesday, my worry going into the game was what happened. I felt we could have been tired. But what it will do is really bring us on physically, I have to say. And, you know, there's that, there's that listen, I didn't get much out of it because it's, it's, it was a poor performance in the sense of physically, we just won uh, no one here. In terms of the goals you conceded, I, I guess you want players to play out from the back and sometimes that can happen. Yeah, I don't want to play out like that, from the back like that. I mean, just the avoidable goals, mistake, easy, easy finish for the boy. Um, second goal, another poor goal to lose. So, no, there's a certain way you want to play, but not. I've always said and maintained to the players, you don't play out for losing goals. Uh, so, yeah, there were disappointing goals. But we just never really got going. Um, I have to uh, be honest and say that it was it was a poor performance. But I felt it was poor because physically, I mean, even even in the middle of the pitch, like Granny and Tails are normally so good. They just look short. There was a period where we went to, when we went to the three, we we dominated them for 15 minutes. We had one or two openings. But apart from that, you know. But it, listen, these were, we knew when, when we. When we put together the pre-season games, we knew every game would be away, which uh, moving forward I don't really want that again. Because this week we've had to go travel three away games. You know, they've had to travel again yesterday. It's, 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 it's been a long little week for the boys and I just felt it took us toll today. Mm. On the positive side, Jack Marriott got an hour under his belt and, and, and looked sharp when he had the ball. Yeah, he's got to come on from that. I mean, he's he, yeah, he, he, listen, he's a good player, the boy, and we know what we're buying. And it's time for the players to get used to him, and, you know, especially with, we spoke about in transition in the middle. I think it was one where Sammy just overhit it, and that was uh, the story of the day. We overhit things, and but no, it's great to have him back. First time I've he's played a game for me, so it's great. I've tried for years, but it was fantastic. You know what he's going to bring? He's a threat. He just the legs just after half time just went a little bit. A couple we just didn't have the sharpness. I was worried. I said to him, "Look, how do you feel?" But I felt the half time break. We wanted to give him another ten minutes, whatever. But no, he'll come on from that. I doubt very much he'll play on Tuesday now. I think he'll have a full week of training. Yeah. Obviously, the other team at Swindon got a 1-0 victory. I know you don't know right, much about that, that game, no, but that's, th that's good that they obviously got something out of it. Absolutely. Clean sheet and a win. We'll obviously speak to Matty Edmonton and Kieran, who took them, um, and get the report, and I'll watch the game back. We now go on to Tuesday, Kings Lane, and I'll pick a team that's probably going to be stronger than initially. But this is why I, I always arrange a game the Tuesday before the season starts because there's always some players that need minutes. Mm. So definitely John will play there. Uh, Josh Knight will probably play there, Tomlinson again, as long as they've come through the game. Um, Ricky will probably play Idris. So they'll be a strong, strong team for that. And then we've got to assess Jack Taylor, but I, I, I guess at this stage, a week away from the season starting, you know, you, you've obviously got other options in there. You, you want to see how he gets on in the next couple of days in recovery. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm worried. He's had it before, um, but then again, Jono had a, a thing on Tuesday where I was worried, but it, it was all clear. I'm just hoping and praying that Jack's all clear because this should be the third hammy he's done. Um, so and that, that is a problem, isn't it? That is a fundamental problem. Then, um, but listen, it might be fine. It might just be cramped tightness. He, he felt, he just felt tight. Uh, but again, that goes back to the fact that maybe you know this game was just too much for them. I guess you know, Josh Hack could play in there and obviously you've got Ethan Hamilton as no, well, there's no panic there? No, there's no panic but we don't want to lose Jack, mm. you know, he's a top player. You know, I'm not panicking but certainly we don't want to lose Jack Taylor for the opening period of the season, especially if it's a long time, that's absolutely not what we want and pre-season for me is all about getting to the start of the season without any injuries and obviously we had Jonas from last season, we had Jack that came in with one, apart from that we're, we're looking good, obviously we've had one or two things like Josh Knight having um, Tonsillitis, which can happen. But I'm glad pre-season's out of the way because the situation with the COVID change and this and that, and even today was a doubt. So it's just glad to get out of the way and get. I'm really excited about the season starting. I can't wait. Yeah, and just finding Nathan Thompson just took off his own. You didn't want to go down to I guess. Yeah, cramp. Yeah, we 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 felt that 
you know, Nathan's played here, and, and you know, we, even in a game like this, there's not m as many as there will be normally. And I know John Marquis, he's a handful, you know, and, but listen, Tom Woods, they're both men, they got on with it. I, I didn't think the ref should have booked them, they're both men, let them get on with it, and they weren't kicking the hell out of each other. It was just one incident, so I don't mind that sort of stuff.